um, in Vietnam, in your school, do you celebrate Teacher's Day? Yes. Oh, okay. When? Next month, I think. Ah, okay. So your Teacher's Day will be next month. Here yes. in my country, it is today. Yes. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, so in your case, what do you usually um, do for your teacher on Teacher's Day? Uh, I usually draw postcards and okay. give it to my teacher. Wow. Really? Yes. Why didn't you tell me about that before? Because I don't think that it is necessary. Mm, okay. Yes, I didn't know that you like making postcards for your teacher. Uh, no, I just make them for them to be happy. Not <laughs> Of course, of course. We have to make them happy, especially on Teacher's Day, right? Yes, and it's almost my birthday, too. Yes, I remember. So what are you going to do on your birthday? I'm not sure. Wait, let me check. It will be next week. Uh, yes. Yes, okay. So don't you have any plans yet? Uh, I don't know, because my dad will surprise me. Surely. But what do you want? Just what you want, okay? What do you want for your birthday? I don't know. Huh? Maybe nothing? Uh, because I think that I have everything that I need. Okay, maybe. So, anything that you'll receive, anything that they will give you, you will be happy. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Anyway, um, just tell me what you're going to do on your birthday and what things are you going to receive on that day, all right? Yes. Yes, but surely you will have a special meal with your family again. And I think I will invite my friend. Yeah, so you're going to have a birthday party? Uh, yes, but just only like a family, like with a friend. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay. So it will be um, just a small celebration with your very close friends. Yes, like not, and, yeah. not like my whole class. Mm -mm. Of course, you don't need to invite the whole class, especially if you, if some of your friends are not, uh, some of your classmates are not your real friends, right? Yeah. Sometimes I also don't like inviting the whole class. Just make close friends are better. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Gold, um, what kind of birthday party do you want to have? Uh, what do you mean, Meta? I mean... Um, do you want to make it a house party, like you're going to have a barbecue party at home? Or do you want to celebrate it in a restaurant with a special dinner? Or go to the beach and enjoy swimming with your friends? Mm, I usually celebrate it in a beach. Oh, wait. No, in a restaurant. Uh-huh. Celebrate it in the restaurant. Ah, okay. And eat delicious dinner, maybe. But I only celebrate in the beach when uh, when I'm at my cousin's house. Mm -hmm. Um. So how is that? Maybe you are going to have a, a two parties, two, one for your friends and one for your relatives? Uh, no, then I will just only celebrate one. Mm. Okay, so you only go to the beach when you are near your cousin's house. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So it will just be a simple and maybe special dinner yes. on your birthday with your classmates. Mm -mm. Okay. So um, I'm sure you are already excited for that one, one week. 
Yes. Yeah, one week more. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's continue with our lesson gold. And, uh, ah, did you rewrite your sentences? That was your homework I gave you last time. Do you remember? Uh, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, last time I, came, I think I told you to rewrite three or four sentences from here oh. that are true for you, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think I forgot. I forgot. Okay, that's okay. You can write three or four sentences now. I want you to write it on Skype so that I can check your sentence structure this time, okay? Yes. Okay. And okay, and I woke up, I grew up there. Okay, grew up. Okay, I get on well with my friend every time we meet each other. Okay, my table never runs out of battery. I'm a tablet. <laughs> Suddenly I was thinking, oh, tablet and then battery. Okay, my tablet never runs out of battery because I don't use it a lot. Okay, but gold, your a lot should be in two words, okay? They they are not one word. Yes. Yes, okay. Now let's move on to the next part. And here in the grammar part, we will have our conditionals. If we say conditionals, then here are when we use your if or when, okay? But of course they are, or they have different structure according to the different kinds of conditionals. We have their zero conditional, first conditional, and second conditional. What do you know about the zero first and second? Uh, well, I don't know because I don't actually don't know the meaning of conditional. Ah, okay. Conditional from the word condition, something happens uh, when something happens then this is the result like that oh. or this thing happens because of this for example zero okay if if okay i will type it here in our chat box if the sun if the sun rises, mm, if the sun rises, what happens? The temperature goes up. Okay, for example, this one. If the sun rises, the temperature goes up. Okay, zero conditional talks about general truths. Okay? Yes. Okay. Can you try to make your own sentence for this one? Hmm. If if I study a lot, I will get a good grade. Exactly. Got it? Yes. Yes. Okay, next. We have the first conditional. So first conditional is something. Uh, this is the unreal first conditional is the unreal present I mm. so you are talking about situation at present that is not real for example if I were a doctor I will not charge my patients very high 
Okay. If I were a doctor, I will not charge my patients very high. This is unreal present. Why unreal? Because in reality, I am not a doctor. I am a teacher. Yes. Okay? Okay, make your own sentence now. Hmm. Uh, if I... If... I, if I were young, I would play badminton. Okay, but you're young. No, young like mean like younger than me. If I were a baby, if I were a toddler, like around six or seven. Okay, if I were younger, I will play badminton, but you can still play badminton now. I can, but I don't play it anymore. Uh, why? Uh, because I have, like, another sport. You have another sport that you are interested in? Yes. Okay, and that is basketball. Yes. Of course, I know it. Okay, next one, we have the second condition. What do you think is the second condition? Uh, maybe a guess? No. I don't know. Okay. Our second conditional is... Unreal past. Okay, if we say unreal past, um, if I were uh, if I had if I had stayed in America, I would have spoken English very well. Okay, this is a real pass because had stayed in America, that's in the past, but that is not true. I, I stayed in the Philippines. Okay, and look at the structure. If I had stayed in America, I would have spoken English very well. Okay? Yes. Okay, come on. Make a sentence. Uh, if I... Uh, If, if I had lived in Japan, I would know about Japanese food. I would have known. I would have known. About Japanese food. Food, okay. Or um, you can say I would have known a lot about Japanese food because surely you know some. Of them, right? Not now. Not now? Why? Uh, like just only one. Why? Why only? What is that? Sushi. How about sashimi? I am not. Ah, really? This one. Oh. Raw fish. Hmm. I think hmm. I know it, but I don't know the name. Ah, okay. So it is called sashimi. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, suddenly I'm hungry. Okay, so those are your conditionals. Okay. 
And then let's move on to the next one here. So Christian wants to go to drama school to be an actor. But his parents want him to stay at school. What advice can you give him? Hmm. Okay. Okay. But this one, we are going to have, of course, our listening activity. Christian is talking to Mr. Edwards, a teacher at his school. Listen and answer the question. Okay. But before we do the listening part, what advice can you give him? Christian wants to go to drama school, but his parents want him to stay at school. Oh, I think he should go to drama school after school. Ah, okay. So he can make it as his after school activity. Yes. Yes. Okay. So he can talk. Um, he should talk to his parents and telling them that he won't give up schooling. Instead, he will just add drama school in the afternoon after school. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's a good advice. Now let's listen to the conversation of Christian and Mr. Edwards. Unit 8. Okay. Grammar. Exercise 2. Hi, Christian. How are you? Uh, okay. Your dad's got in contact with me because he says you're not very sure about your future. Shall we have a chat about it? What are your favorite subjects? Well, that's not the problem. I am sure about my future. I'd really like to go to drama school. Everyone says I'm good at acting. How old are you, Christian? That's the problem. I'm only 15, so I'll need my parents' permission if I want to go to drama school. They say I have to stay at school until I'm 18. But if I stay at school until I'm 18, it will be too late. Too late for what? If I want to be an actor, I have to start training at an early age. So, if I don't start now, I'll be too old. Maybe we should look at other ways of getting training. Have you thought about acting classes? Yes, but I would have to give up football if I went to classes after school. That's why I think drama school would be a good solution. If I studied at drama school, I'd have enough time for everything. Have your parents seen you performing on stage? No, not for a long time. I wasn't in this year's English play because none of my friends were in it. I see. Let's think about ways you can get some more acting experience. Have you thought about being a film extra? What's that? Okay. Oh, that's all. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> you were expecting more? Yes. <laughs> Enough. Okay, let's answer this question first. Why has Christian's dad contacted Mr. Edwards? Because he's not sure of choosing the subject. Yeah, but actually that's not true, like what Edward said, uh, what Christian said, right? Yes. Yes, he is sure about it. It's just that maybe his dad just don't want to accept what he wants. Yes. And number two, what two pieces of advice does Mr. Edwards give? It's like using acting for after class. Okay, but Christian said he have to give up football class. Yeah, that was also your advice, and that was the answer of Christian. He, he needs to give up football class if he does. Uh, if he does it, and then the next one is something about film extra. Okay, being a movie or maybe a commercial extra. What's that? Christian was um, curious about it and we will have that one, the next audio in activity number three. Okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you have any question here, Gold? Mm, no, I don't. 
No, you don't. Well, I guess that's it for our lesson tonight. We'll talk more about type 0, 1, and 2 conditional on Friday. Okay? Yes.